If you ever need to move your class for just a one-time class meeting, maybe you want to use a computer lab or something like that, you can see what rooms are available and submit that request through Ad Astra. Ad Astra is accessible through Maya and you by clicking on the Ad Astra icon, or if you're not seeing it here on your menu, you can always look under Systems and then Ad Astra. You sign in with the same Purple Pass credentials you use for everything else, the same username and password. Go ahead and log in. It's probably best if you have a particular room in mind to see if it's available that day. Begin by clicking on Calendars, Scheduling Grids. On the calendar icon, change the date to what date you're requesting the particular event. So I'll say maybe November 20th. And then click the green icon to update these results. Perhaps I wanted to use ACAD 130. It's a popular classroom on the ground floor there in the academic complex. I can see, yes, it's available at 9 a.m., which is when I needed. Pretend. So I can go up here and click Request Event. Each re event request form is a bit different depending on the need. So certain rooms are going to be certain things. Um, so for example, if you needed to book any space in Bizgrove, it's going to have its own booking form. But if you're just looking to change classrooms, I would say classroom space is going to be the form you need. Say next. A lot of this information is going to populate automatically, but you can go ahead and put in the details they need. They'll need a phone number, they'll need an event name, so you can just call it your class meeting. They'll need a rough idea of how many people will be attending. That will narrow the number of rooms that are available to ones that can accommodate the size of your audience. Some other required details you can answer the questions like, do you need it on the NU website? You can say no. Um, under the meeting type, I usually use academic class. Other ones that I often use might be a lecture or a meeting. For this one, I'll just say academic class. You can put in a few more details, say 25 is a max attendance. It does require a room. Make sure that is checked. Navigate to the date you said you needed it, which was November 20th for me. Put in the designated time that you need the room for. So I'll say I need it from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Once I'm sure that all these details are correct, November 20th, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., that's great. I'll go ahead and say Create. I can double check that my details are correct here. Select the box and say Request Rooms. This is going to bring up a list of all of the classrooms that are available November 20th at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., and I can search for the one I want. It's a little unwieldy of a list because it's not exactly alphabetized. Um, it's actually going by score. So what I'm looking for was ACAD 130. That was the one I like. It says it's available, so I can go ahead and click it. And then down here, say OK. You'll notice that it puts the details in here for me. And then I would just say Submit Request. I'm not actually going to do this because I don't need this room, uh, and I don't want to take it away from somebody who does need it. But I'll show you what it looks like when it comes through. You'll first get an email confirming that it was received. And then you'll next get an email saying it was approved. It'll say approved in the subject line and you'll also get a copy of the event request summary with the approval on there. If you ever had any, any issues, Danielle Seafold handles our scheduling requests and her information is always right at the top of the booking form.